my channel and welcome back for a brand new vlog so it's the weekend well it will be when i wake up tomorrow morning but i thought we could spend the weekend together and actually keep it to the weekend a nice cozy but productive weekend oh i'm so tired sorry to everyone i've made yawn but i'm about to jump in well i'm gonna do a hair mask and then after that it's been in my hair for a half an hour i'm gonna um jump in the shower wash my hair exfoliate have an everything shower um and then i'll go chill for the evening i got one of my parcels i'm only waiting for one more now for tiktok shop this is a by caitlin collection a mystery button doll um and it was either a treat but it was a treat to myself slash if there's anything in there i'm not going to use give us christmas presents i have a feeling i'm going to try and use all of them to be fair um so i'll show you guys what i got in that um but this weekend consists of plans with family um and stuff like that also going to primark on sunday afternoon so i'll take you guys along with me for that one and i'm also filming a huge the biggest payday haul i've done because down here i've got all of my um packages that i've ordered christmas presents i've got a super drug bag i've got my beauty advent calendar so all of that is going in my payday haul um so yeah it's gonna be a long one so it's probably gonna be up by the time you see this so I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, it definitely would have been a long video to watch. So make sure that you had snacks. Um, but I'm really excited to haul it all. And then I'm going to organise the parcels. Because obviously I'm sending three parcels off for Christmas presents to Rhiannon, Victoria and Chloe. And I'm doing that this month in November because I just want to get them sent. Because I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed with a lot of life things going on. They're good things but my brain gets a bit heavy sometimes. And I'll just be very relieved when that's done. Um, so I need to get Rhiannon some more presents from Primark on Sunday and then she's done. Um, but as I was saying, I'm going to organise the boxes. So I'm going to reuse the boxes that I got sent the products in from the website that I ordered from. Um, for obviously sending them off to friends. So I'm going to put everyone's presents in each of the boxes. Wrap them and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to start a festive vlog probably this weekend. But it won't be going up till like the end of November. Um, of me like wrapping and stuff. It's blows my mind that i'm going to be starting festive vlogs but also very exciting um and i'm probably going to clean my makeup brushes tonight potentially because they are quite dirty and i do want to wear makeup this weekend so i'm trying to keep on top of that um but i've been speaking to victoria as i always do and she mentioned how she wants to try the by caitlin collection um makeup and makeup brush and sponge cleansing soap because it is really really good and i said because she gets sent like a bunch of products from tiktok because she like promotes them and stuff on tiktok um for brands and stuff so she's been sent loads of isoclean things which she's very kindly giving me some of the doubles because i don't like isoclean for the sense of the fact it scents the whole flat in the scent of pure alcohol and it is it makes us feel me and mum feel quite nauseous however the other like nice scented ones i'm going to give a go but the obviously the massive plus side is that your brushes dry really quickly however i use my brush soap dry my brushes out on one of the brush uh, towel things and then I put them on my windowsill and where it's so cold it dries my brushes really well and by the next morning they're dry so I don't know where I was going with that ramble but basically I don't feel like I need isoclean in my life now to make my brushes like effectively clean in such a quick period of time because I'm not going to be for makeup artists I think isoclean is perfect because you can just quickly spritz your brush and then clean and then it's also like anti antibacterial like I think it kills like loads of bacteria and stuff which is obviously very important but for makeup artists I understand isoclean and the need for it for people that just use their brushes like I do I much prefer a brush soap but anyway um yeah but Victoria's very kindly sending me some of her doubles that she's been sent by brands via TikTok which I think is really really kind of her um but yeah so we're gonna go and sort the hair out it was PJ day at work because it's children in need day um it was great fun later now since I started this vlog I've got beans on toast. A lot of beans, actually, looking at it and my medication. I've had a really good day, um, it turns out. I was in my own head quite a bit today, but it's all right because I'm feeling better. My mum's given me this box because I've got boxes for my Christmas presents I'm sending off, but I think I may use this for Rihanna's, reinforce it with more to parcel tape. So I just feel like it's a bit of a better length. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, I've got some dinner. I'm starting... I've started to re-watch Grey's Anatomy and it's so 
good. It's my comfort show for a reason. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm a celeb starts tomorrow and I'm so excited. I've never been excited for I'm a Celebrity, except the fact that GK Barry is in it and that she's the sole reason why I'm watching it and OT Mabusi. Mabusi? Mabusa? Lovely lady from Strictly and she's done so much else as well. I am so excited and I'm in two minds to start it. I'm a celeb review TikTok series because I just, I'm so, so excited. Grace is gonna, it's gonna be hilarious. Um, and I'm definitely gonna be voting to keep her in, but yeah. So, I'm all right. I'm feeling a bit better. Got a nice dinner. Um, and yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a lovely, busy day again. I'm going to um, go to Primark, because I've already said. I'm also gonna show you some parcels, because although I'm gonna film a payday haul tomorrow, um, including my Black Day, Friday sales, um, purchases. I'm also going to show you a few bits because I've got some amazing bits I'm going to show in the vlogs. Not everyone that watches my sit down videos watches my vlogs or vice versa. So yeah. Um, and I've just got so much to haul now because obviously I'm going to be sending off Rhiannon's parcel next week, Victoria's parcel next week and Chloe's parcel probably next week as well. So I want to film the content. I want to film with those products and those gifts. Probably film a, a Christmas gift guide video as well. Um, and yeah, just get some content filmed with those things so that I can then wrap them um, and stuff like that. So yeah, mum's in the sofa, aren't you mum? There she is. I think what I'm asking for Christmas from my family. I'm not sure about doing a Christmas wish list video. Like I know a lot of people have asked me to do it, but I'm just not sure. I don't know. I may do it, incorporate it into a festive vlog. I just don't know if I'm gonna do a whole video based around it. So let me know your thoughts about that in the comments. I just think that could be quite a good segment in one of my festive vlogs. Um, but yeah. Okay, time to show you some parcels. The lighting's not the best. So I do apologise for that. But I've got everything under here ready to film a massive haul with. I haven't opened up the brushes that I got. Um, but I'm going to show you the mystery bundle. Also this, which is going to be a gift for someone. I impossibly bought it for myself, but actually gonna go to someone else because I need to buy the individual peaches and cream foundation brushes that I want um and also the made by Mitchell box oh, that I purchased this it was incredible let's start with this actually so this was the 15 pound um stocking no it wasn't it was a 15 pound secret Santa bundle um 15 pounds and I got all of this um I am giving two things I believe as Christmas presents maybe three maybe even four but I'm not sure I actually think I may be keeping I'm not sure but the two things that I'm going to be giving as Christmas gifts but still amazing to receive um so a lot of mystery bundles that I've bought or had my eye on it's bought with the intention to give things as Christmas presents or keep for myself um so this is candy trip um liquid blusher I've had this before and I never used it so I really gave it I gave it to someone else anyway so this is going to be a perfect little present for someone um and then Lil Heat which is a gel eyeliner um that's the shade there and once again perfect little present once again, great stocking fillers made by Mitchell has some great products anyway but perfect size for a stocking filler um another thing that'd be great for a stocking filler but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this for myself yet I'm going to assess the situation with my brushes um but this is a brush and it's one of his ombre brushes that he released um, but it's the MF18 brush, um, which I think could be perfect for like highlight and just because it's a bit more defined, um, if that makes any sense. And I do love Mitchell's brushes, so I think I probably will keep that for myself. Um, I wasn't too minus whether to re-gift it or not, but I think I may keep it for myself, depending on how many of these brushes that I like. Oh, how many of these brushes that I like, but that's a great thing to receive. This, I couldn't believe when I saw this. This is a Watch Your Tone toner. I've not had a toner in my collection that I've liked or got on with, um, but I've seen so many people talk about Mitchell skincare. Now, I'm trying to be really careful with what I use because I do have very sensitive skin. Um, these are more hormonal breakouts. They're going down now, but I've wanted to a toner in my collection and this sounds amazing. I've seen so many people review it. Um, so if you've used it and tried it, um, please let me know your thoughts in the comments and it also helps someone else out. Um, watching this but to get this like i paid 15 pounds i had to pay a bit for shipping but 15 pounds for six full size items which retail price like these retail like full price for 16 pounds i know at the moment he had a birthday offer on so you get them for like four pounds i've never paid full price for any of the bronze blushes or anything like that but 
because I always get them off TikTok shop. But if you're looking at like buying his website, like that's 16 pounds on its own. I believe these are like, oh, it's in the, the brushes are in the late liquor collection, I think is what that means. Um, the gel eyeliners will be over a 10 pounds. As I said, these I think are 12. I believe this is 15 pounds, if not a bit more on its own. Um, and I got two other items. You'll definitely get me value for money. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Like, look at that. How cool is that packaging? Oh, and I think it's, oh, it's a spray toner. I don't think I've ever tried anything like this. How cool is that? Love that. And that is a really satisfying noise as well. Um, so I will try this out and I will let you guys know what I think about it. But once again, as I said, if you tried it, let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm really excited about that. And it's, as I said, to get this in a bundle is incredible because it was, I've wanted to try his skincare for so long. Um, so yeah. And then I got one of his powder blur, well, blush pressed in When I'm Gone. Now the shade on the back looks really daunting, but that is like the perfect shade for me, like on the outer packaging that this had. That is the perfect peachy tone for me. And I am so excited to try this because I absolutely love, um, sorry for the wobbliness, the blush pod and peach cobbler. It's so pigmented, you only need a little bit, but it is amazing. His formulation for this, chef's kiss. So I definitely recommend those. Um, but I have, do I have any more? No, I think I've got the highlighter that he's got, his highlighter pressed, his pressed highlighters. But I have had, I had the strawberry milkshake one, which I sold on Vintage, but I'm so excited to try this. So, and I just love his packaging, his packaging is so unique. Um, so yeah, and then the last thing I got was a bronze pod, which I've wanted to get one of these since I fell in love with the blush um, pods. And this is in Almond Mum. Now it's quite dark, like the picture I will say, on the well on tiktok shop is not a good reference to how what color actually is to be honest because i thought this would when i opened it up i was like oh that's too dark for me and then i checked my favorites and i actually favorited this shade um and it's got quite a bit of like iridescent shimmer in but obviously i've never tried it so i was in two minds but i'm going to try it and then if i don't get on with it or if it's not the right shade for me i will just give it to a friend or if like an extra to someone um i won't waste it but yeah I could not believe what I got in this bundle. So if you've been seeing the Made by Mitchell um, 15 pound secret Santa boxes, I would 1 million percent recommend either to treat yourself or it is a perfect gift for someone, which is what the idea behind the bundle is. It's all existing products. It's not the new one, any new products that he's got, as in his really, really recent new releases, but I absolutely love it and I'm obsessed. So that was an amazing parcel um next one by caitlin collection if you're new to my channel then you won't know i've talked about this brand quite a bit for their um makeup brush and sponge cleansing soap i have mine in the scent peach and it is incredible um and i need to buy a new one um and i've had so many friends say that they've tried it and they love it um but i've never tried anything else really i don't think from by Caitlin Collection, and they've got so many products to offer. So I paid, I can't remember how much I paid for this bundle, to be honest with you. It's a mystery bundle, um, and I got one, two, three, four products in. Um, two of which I'm gonna keep, two of which I'm gonna re-gift, um, which was, as I said, the kind of idea, but I'm gonna go with the products I'm keeping. I have wanted to try these for so long. I've keep seeing them on my TikTok for you page, and I just haven't got them. And these are the By Caitlin Collection Liquid Crystal Glitter Eye Toppers. Um, and they're in the, I don't know what shade you would say they're in, but you get three and they are all so me. Like, hello. And once again, I feel like I'm gonna be a broken record. Great stocking filler for any beauty lovers you know, or anyone trying out makeup. Um, so I will definitely let you guys know what I think about these. Um, but yeah, so excited about that. And then a best selling face cleansing cushion. It's like one of those makeup remover puffs. Comes with its own little bag, which is really handy. Definitely gonna reuse this. That is so soft. I absolutely love these. I converted from cotton pads quite a while back now and I haven't looked back. These are so much better on your skin, so much better on the environment. Um, and yeah, I couldn't recommend these kind of products enough. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. It's so soft though. Oh, that's really nice. Um, and I like the fact that it comes in a bag. It's a little things in life. 
Um, and then the other two things, because I saw it in here, I was like, oh, I could really use that. Like, the impulsive um, person in me is like, oh, I'll make that work. But in reality, I paused and I was like, this could be a really good Christmas present for someone that I know. This is the Polished Skin Illuminator. It says it's a pearl finish, lightweight feeling, non-stick, best applied with brushes or booty blenders. Which is their um, version of, like, the Clomana... Um, what am I? Clomana marshmallow sponge. But this is what it looks like. When it's a pearl finish, I was like, oh, it's going to be quite light. But because it looks so bronzy, I'm a bit scared to use it and I don't want to waste it. So I know exactly who I'm giving this to for Christmas. And then in partnership with that, I've got the um, kind of body buffing brush. So it's going to be a perfect addition to one of my friend's Christmas presents. Um, and I have a feeling she's going to absolutely love it. So really, really good. No waste, no waste. Um, next thing is peaches and cream, which once again is going to be a Christmas present for someone. I have opened it up, so I'm thinking about getting rid of the tissue paper. You open it up, and it is the one of their full brush kits. It hasn't got all the brushes in, but it's basically a whole brush kit, which is really good value for money. I paid £25 for this, um, and I've heard great things about peaches and cream brushes, hence why I'm going to buy some of their individual foundation brushes. I'm on the hunt um, for some new ones, but it's such a waste to keep all these brushes for myself when I know I'm not going to use them. So this is going to be the perfect main present for one of my closest friends. They're so pretty as well. Like, hello. The only other thing I've tried from Peaches and Cream was, and um, there's so many things I want to try to be honest, like their whole, sorry. Let me just shut that. Um, their whole like branding and like packaging is so me. It's pretty in pink. Um, and it says good things come in pink packages. So true. Um, and I've heard great things about the makeup brushes, so that's why I'm definitely going to buy some for myself. Um, the only other thing I've tried from Peaches and Cream is the peach scented brush cleansing spray, kind of like a dupe for Iso, Iso Clean, and I did not get on with it whatsoever. Um, it still was too heavy, like the smell was just not for me, so I'm just going to stick, I think, to my brush and sponge cleansing soap from my Caitlin collection, but... This is going to be a perfect present for someone in my life. And it says at Peaches and Cream, we care about helping to look after our planet. We are mindful about reducing the impact that our brand has on the environment. Our postal boxes, tissue paper, pick and mix bags and stickers are all fully recyclable. So please make sure you recycle them. Which is great, to be honest. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Peaches and Cream because they've got some really nice products. Um, and I'm definitely going to be testing some more in the future. So please let me know in the comments any good ones to try. Um, let me just get rid of this cellophane. Now onto this. Now I'm going to say this so wrong, but it's basically a whole brush set from, I'm going to call it Mange Brushes. I'm probably butchering that as I know I am, but basically those TikTok viral brushes that went crazy. Wow. Look at this, I was not expecting it to be packaged up like this, that is for sure. Um, that is the brand at the bottom. Um, so yeah, I picked this up. Um, it's not the right brush set that I was actually after. Victoria has the brushes that I was um, after, like the single-ended brushes. Um, but we're going to give these a go. You get a bag to put them in. That is the brand name, to be a bit clearer. I'm sure you all know. If you're on the beauty side of TikTok, you will have seen these. So you get two... Um, powder puffs but they're not powder puffs they're kind of like sponge puff things <laughs> and they come in a case which is actually really handy um and then the rest is all brushes so you get eye brushes which i know i'm going to love and use to death um so we'll open those up in a minute um but these are dupes of the hourglass brushes i never even knew hourglass did brushes i'm not on that end of the spectrum of makeup purchasing um but yeah and it's got all the names of what they're for on them and then you also get, I think this is like one of those mini kabuki kind of brushes that are kind of like retractable. You then get a, one of these. Um, and then this is the, it doesn't have the names on these brushes, which is a bit annoying. Um, but I got a set of these previously, but not this style. Oh, that feels nice. Look at that. Um, and this is one of the foundation brushes, I do know that, and that actually feels like that could be quite good for foundation. Um, but I got another set of these, but it was a pink, um, 
little set that I've got. And this is the only brush I kept from it, but I love this. Um, and it's very dirty. I do need to clean these. But I use this for buffing out my under eye concealer. And it's absolutely incredible. I've not found a brush like this because I do love the Beauty Pie one. But this is so much cheaper. And it's incredible. I can't hype about that brush enough. Um, I'll try and put a picture on the screen of the set that it came from. But I've seen so many of my favourite content creators. And Victoria uses these as well. One of my really good friends. She uses these uh, this brand of brushes. And she says they're really, really good. So I'm really excited to try them. Um, and then all the other brushes you get, as I said, a lot of them are, well, the other, two, other one, two, three, four brushes are duo ended. Um, so let me just open these up. But the reason why I want to show you how I'm going to store them, because they're duo ended, my brush holders that I've got at the moment, they spin round and they're really hard to clean on the inside. Whereas this will be a lot easier to clean. So I'm going to store them in this glass jar with bamboo lid that I got from Poundland. Um, and for travel i'll definitely be using this i think it's really nice it comes in this but yeah for 15 pounds i think i had to pay for this shipping but for 15 pounds you get a whole bunch of eye brushes five or maybe even six base brushes one of these <laughs> and two cushion puff things i'm not very good at um, advertising these am i but let's open these up and i will show you but i'm really excited to try this so i've unwrapped them all I am really impressed by the feel of these brushes and like the quality. The only thing I didn't like before is it said they didn't shed, but I think they do. Well, they do because I can see it here, but these are so pretty to look at. And that might sound strange, but to any beauty lovers, you'll get what I mean. Like, look at those. And like, I'm just actually really gassed to try these. So this one, especially because it reminds me of the Trigwell one, but it's a lot softer. I've got to be honest, um, for like buffing in. Like, yeah, I'm so excited to try that. Um, you then got this, which could be like a powder brush. Um, that reminds me of like powder bronzer. Obviously, you can use makeup brushes for whatever purpose, do you know what I mean? This one, I'm not sure what this one's supposed to be for, but I can see that for like buffing out concealer because it's got that edge to get in all the nooks and crannies. Um, once again, this could be quite like buffing in for concealer or like a liquid highlight. This could be good for whatever you want, really. Um, and this is like the big, good powder brush. This is the brush I'm most excited to try. I can't lie, but for £15, you really can't go wrong. Um, and as I said, you get all these eye brushes too. So let's put these in here. New bits always really excite me. Um, and also, just to put it out there, I'm also really happy because I've done like the bulk of my Christmas shopping. Like, I've still got my family to buy for, but when it comes to like friends um, and stuff like that, I'm quite organised this year, which... <laughs> is a miracle in itself um okay so it doesn't look the best right now but that's what it looks like um and it's just the perfect ooh, mm, kind of the perfect size you can see it brushed along the top but there we go and then that can go in there like so um but yeah i'm really excited to try those brushes for sure there's a lot of packaging i need to dispose of so that is fine um so yeah, but as I was saying, like I've organised so many people's Christmas presents. Like Rhiannon, I'm getting a few more bits for tomorrow, um, and Victoria as well. Chloe's all done, and they're the three ones that I was really sort of like stressing myself out over. Um, and Holly too. Um, work colleagues are done. Pretty much, I need to get my room leader some books. Um, but yeah, pretty much I'm all organised. So it's just Mum, Lynn's pretty much done as well. Um, so it's just mum and grandma mainly but obviously there will be a few more bits that get people but the bulk of it is done and the bulk of it will be wrapped and sent off before december even starts so it's just like um so as i said i'll be starting my festive vlogs um around wrapping people's presents and stuff like that but let's just put all this stuff away it's just so exciting um but yeah i need to reorganize my makeup collection i'm probably not going to do it till after christmas because i'm asking for things for christmas and I want to know sort of like how to organise my stuff. But I'm definitely going to have a face drawer again. Like bronzers, highlighters, blushes. Because I'm now trying quite a lot of new things. And I really need the space for them. Um, and obviously I'll have one deep drawer free. Because obviously Christmas presents would have all gone to people. I've done some, I say makeup. I've just stuck my brows in place. And used the lotion from L'Oreal. Because I'm going to film the biggest payday haul I've ever done. Um because it needs to be done. Do you know what I mean? It needs to be done. Um, I've got a video going up at three, 
Um, so yeah, but I just I needed to film it because I'd want to organise who's got what. Do you know what I mean? That is the aim. That's what we're going with. I need to get my camera screen fixed next week, but this is what we're dealing with. <clears throat> I also need to get some bits out from in here to show in the payday hall. Do I... When did I get my curve case? Did I show my curve case in my previous one? I don't know, but I've shown it to you guys. I've opened it up on camera, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but a bit of a bit of a No, there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Anything in there? No, so I swear I had other new bits that I needed to show you guys in the payday hall. I need to, this is why I need to organise my drawers because I really want to start using this because I've seen so many great um, like makeup looks with this. Um, I don't think I've shown this. Or maybe I did. No, I think I did actually. Okay, so basically I think that's actually it. And that. Um, put that there for now. But yeah, so I think that is all that I need to show. Obviously, I've got some bits in here, but I've shown a lot of them in Poundland Hall, in my Poundland Hall, so I don't need to show that. Oh yeah, the bike cake collection bits and pieces. Everything else is yeah okay i can't wait to have a deep draw back in my life that's not gonna be for presents but also at the same time i'm really glad that i've been able to get presents do you know what i mean but yeah let's get everything out and film this haul before i change my mind <laughs> really productive i'm really happy that i have filmed that payday haul um and i understand why i was putting it off because it did take a fair while but a couple of other jobs i want to do today i want to clean my makeup brushes because they do look pretty grim um i want to keep on top of that and obviously edit um and yeah maybe film another video i'm not too sure but i am gonna definitely organize my station redraw because i need a face palette draw to just reorganize this again i feel like i'm it's a never-ending process of organizing but it is what it is it's fine and we all know i love to organize so i feel like i do it to myself on purpose <laughs> i have dinner and gray's anatomy so i'm pretty well set up for the evening and the last time was that i vlogged but it's now a Tuesday. I've been in such a funk and I was just, I just videoed um, Victoria because I was like, I've not been doing the things that I need to do to keep me mentally well. And I think I was trying to suppress the fact that actually it's me that's the problem. Um, so it's all about acceptance. This spot came back with a vengeance. So we're going to be putting pseudo cream on that. Um, but I'm going to go and wash my hair and then I'm going to start some clips for my first festive vlog, which is crazy because this weekend I'm sending off Rhiannon's parcel that's the aim anyway because I really don't want to leave it till the end of November which I say that that's not only next week um and I think for this vlog as well I'm going to be putting away my Halloweeny bits because well, I say Halloween autumn bits because I'm going to be decorating for Christmas this weekend which is super exciting which will also be in my first festive vlog so the clips I'm filming today sorting out presents for people and stuff it's going to be in my first festive vlog but it's not going to be the first thing you see in that festive vlog if that makes sense um but yeah so I need to put that in the fridge because one of my colleagues has got me into the apple and raspberry sparkling flavoured water and I don't normally like sparkling water if you've watched my channel for a while you'll know this however this stuff is nice I never thought I'd say it it just tastes like apple and raspberry lemonade to be honest um so that's in there i think me and mum are gonna have soup and some rolls she's gonna get from waitrose because it's so cold like thank god my grandma gave me this coke cause otherwise i would have absolutely frozen on my way home i am pretty much done wrapping around and stuff but i keep seeing t like clips of i'm a celeb and i still haven't watched it yet i know shameful um so i'm catching up and i just i can't wait um but I'm not going to show you the box properly because obviously Rhiannon's going to watch this vlog. Um, but I learned something new about bubble wrap. I've been wrapping it wrong. I've been wrapping stuff in bubble wrap wrong my whole life. But never mind. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the card. Um, 
which ironically is perfect because I'm pretty sure these are Scottish um, Highland cows, are they? I don't know, maybe I'm really wrong, but anyway, I'm nearly done. Whoop to the whoop, filming all of this um, for my first, first festive vlog. So Rhiannon, Chloe and Victoria will not be watching that vlog. If they do, I will kill them. My other two boxes, this is Victoria's and this is Chloe. My studio light cool down, as you can tell, my face is very flushed. But I'm just letting my studio light, um, as I say, cool down. But Rhiannon's box is all done. But I probably am going to do her a separate parcel with sweet trees and stuff because there was absolutely no room in there whatsoever. Um, so yeah, but I need to, what's the word? Patch up Victoria's box because I can't remember what I got in that box, but it's a bit battered and I don't want it to break on transit. So, but I'm watching I'm a Celeb, catching up. It's so good. Um, so yeah. I've also been talking to Malika, I think I mentioned that, which has been lovely. But now I've wrapped those gifts, I am going to read some of my book. Time to clean my brushes. I've hoovered my floor, I've done a to-do list for tonight. I'm going to leave wrapping till the weekend. Um, but yeah, I need to really clean these. So of course, I'm using my By Caitlin Collection sponge and brush soap. It's, well to be fair, I think we'll probably get one more use out of. Maybe two more uses out of this, but honestly, I could not recommend this stuff enough. Brushes are now nice and clean. I didn't have to clean many of them actually, to be fair. And these are like the brushes I use all the time. So I'm gonna put these on my windowsill and let them dry overnight. But I need to get, I have a feeling I've got, well, to be fair, Rhiannon told me not to order certain things. Well, only a couple of things, to be fair. Um, so I know I'm getting a new brush soap from a brand, well, from Rhiannon, from a different brand, but I think I will repurchase on payday um, the By Caitlin Collection sponge as well. Sponge? Sponge and brush soap, because I absolutely love that one. However, the one that I put on my wish list from Rhiannon, I'm super excited to try, because um, I know that's going to be amazing too, but yeah, I just don't think it will hurt to have backups, because I really do need to keep on top of cleaning my brushes. So, I've actually moved the position of my lamp, so it's actually... Oh, up here because it just makes my room a lot brighter um i hope this angle's all right but we're gonna go through these and things that i'm getting rid of or because they've gone off or whatever um, and telling you if i'm gonna repurchase them i've done this in a vlog before and you guys really liked it so we're gonna go in i have got another packet of these down there but these are the biodegradable cleansing facial wipes from Superdrug. i really like these i use these to clean up any fallout when i've done my eye makeup and also to remove makeup off my hands they're normally three for a well they're one pound a pack but they're three for two most of the time at Superdrug. whenever i go in i always pick some of these up um so that's that and then we've got quite a few, quite a few packs of nails or just two packs Two packs no four packs of nails so we have these ones which were square gloss from poundland i absolutely love these nails i have got quite a few in here i'm gonna be oh, i'm gonna be going through my nails again because i'm kind of liking the no nail look at the moment but obviously i'm gonna be getting some festive ones um for christmas um but i do really like these poundland ones but my local poundland don't sell them which is really annoying um we've then got a pack of the square gloss from primark these were one pound 20 ones these were really really lovely i really like them and for one pound 20 you really cannot grumble we all know i love primark nails and another thing that i love when you're storing them they have the shape of the nail i don't know if you can see that very well but the shape of the nail and the style on the side and i stack them um in my alex nine drawers and then we've got the <clears throat> nail hq nails i absolutely love these that's what they look like um i have got another pack of these i get these from tk max for 2 .99. i actually have got a pack of these i think do i yeah i do and i also love these ones from nail hq as well these are really really good um i will always repurchase these i'll probably get some as like a little christmas present to myself um because they're amazing and then these are the salon french from elegant touch i actually have really really enjoyed using elegant touch nails they do some really lovely ones um 
they are obviously a bit more pricey than the nails that I normally get but sometimes you know you do need to spend a little bit more um but I definitely recommend if you're getting into press on nails or you've been into them for a long time but you're a bit sort of like a creative block you don't know really where to go to get any good ones tk max primark and superdrug do some really good ones um i did mention this in my previous one which was a month or two ago but this is the mine fragrance mist jasmine number 58 there's like the tiniest bit left but it won't come out this is a really nice body mist i don't think i would repurchase this to be honest mm. if it was on like the star buys kind of thing then yeah i probably would because it's like 4.99 and it's absolutely massive um and i just like what well, used to be this was my work fragrance it lasts really well and i really like the smell on me but it's not something that i'd be like oh my god i have to have that again but if i saw it it would be something that i know i'd use if that makes any sense um next we've got nail glue this is the super drug finishing touches nail glue we all know how much i love this um and for 3.99 or 2.99 however much it is it is really really good i also love the nail bond glue that you can get off amazon which is a bit more pricey but it is a really good nail glue um but normally super drug have this one buy one get a second one half price or something like that so it always works out cheaper um we'll stick on we'll do skincare um we got the beauty pie feather light uva uvb spf 50 sunscreen and primer i will definitely be repurchasing this it's got like a little bit left but it's because i've had it open for so long and it just didn't smell right however when it was brand new it smelled amazing it just smelled like proper sun cream and i've got to say i do love that smell um i've got really sensitive skin and this worked really really well for me and this will be repurchased because it's so damn good and it's so important to have good spf in your skincare routine um, we've then got the simple age resisting night cream this is really really good once again it's only got the littlest bit left would i repurchase probably like maybe once again it's kind of like this i would repurchase if it was on offer and i really needed like a night cream however the moisturizer that i use which is the l'oreal revitalift filler plumping water cream you can use this in the morning and in the evening so i probably just stick to getting this to be honest and it works a lot nicer on my skin it makes my skin feel a lot nicer however this is really good you can always trust simple skincare and yeah i've got really sensitive skin so this is really really good but what have you purchased probably wouldn't be something i'd run back to the like run back to super to buy we then have the mario badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water this has got like a fair little bit left but i'm getting rid of it because once again kind of like the spf i've had it open for so long and i realized that when i was using it like i know i've obviously got that but i was breaking out quite a lot more i didn't break out when i first started using this i actually really liked it especially in the summer it's such a refreshing spray however i do know since me showing mario badescu on my channel people have brought it to my attention that it's not the most like ethical brand i believe so I wouldn't really repurchase anything from Mario Badescu anyway because I've noticed it flares up my skin a bit. But obviously I know it's quite a popular brand or as far as I know it is. But yeah, kind of that's what my thoughts on that one is. We've then got the Face Facts Night Serum. There really isn't a lot left in this. But once again, it's because I've had it open for so long. Would I repurchase? Absolutely. Um, it's vegan. It's got... It doesn't really say much about it but um it's against animal testing it's fully recyclable and i really really liked it it really made my fit skill skin feel hydrated and i always i remember when i wake up in the morning my skin would feel a hell of a lot better if i use this than the evening before so i definitely recommend you trying it out and once again i've got um, sensitive skin and it never flared it up so i would repurchase that okay hair care we've got one thing which is the L'Oreal LV Bomb Repair Shampoo. Now, I am a lover of L'Oreal shampoos. I really, really like them. However, this one I have really high hopes for. Um, I wasn't that impressed. It didn't really make much of a difference to my hair, in my opinion. Obviously, it's a dupe for the Olaplex. Nothing will quite be the Olaplex, obviously, um, as my hairdresser tells me. But I get, obviously, on a more affordable budget, this is probably a good option. I just don't particularly think it did much for my hair, which I'm really gutted about because I had such high hopes. But it's not the worst shampoo. I just don't think it's the best either. But it is sulfate-free, which is obviously really important. Um, 
Okay, the rest is beauty. I've got some lashes. These, there's only one strip left and I haven't used these, so they're just gonna go. Um, I do love half lashes. Now, if you look back on my channel through the years, I was a full lash kind of gal for so long. These are just so much more comfortable to wear. Um, and you can still get full, um, like, beat half lashes. Do you know what I mean? I'm a half lash girl now, and I have not looked back. Um, makeup products wise, this setting spray. Now we all know I've tried more affordable setting sprays and they just haven't worked or they have worked but just not to the standard this has, which isn't a surprise. And this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, part of your day, no, part of your night, stay all day, um, Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. This stuff is incredible. I see so many of my friends say that no setting sprays work for them and I'm not gonna lie this could not work for them you know everybody's skin's different everybody's preferences are different however this setting spray is the ride or die of all setting sprays i've tried urban decay i've tried other more expensive ones and they just have not done it which put me off like spending a lot of money on a setting spray my mum introduced me to charlotte tilbury because she's a lover of the brand um it's like a little bit left but once again i can't get it out um yeah i absolutely love this stuff and a very kind girl on tiktok gave me a discount code um so when i my mum gifted me another airbrush um setting spray from charlotte tilbury for hitting six months sober so i don't need to buy one at the moment but i will definitely be purchasing this this is something that i will read well, i will actually buy for myself for the first time but something i know i will repurchase again and again and again because it is so so good um and it makes my skin feel amazing i use it in between each step of doing my makeup and it just helps melt my makeup in properly and just it's just perfect i don't know what else to say except i absolutely love this stuff and i love the smell as well um on charlotte tilbury again we've got the flawless um airbrush flawless foundation and mine's in the shade one cool freud this foundation is gorgeous however i think to be honest i would need the next shade up because it is very pale um and it's not got the undertones that i would use anymore however the foundation is stunning and for a foundation it doesn't feel heavy on the skin don't get me wrong, I'm much more of a skin tint kind of girl now. However, if I was to use a foundation, which I have got this still, I've got another bottle that my mum gave me. This is all gone. This is literally like at the end of its life. Um, but it sits so beautifully on the skin. I noticed the difference between this and a more affordable foundation for me personally. I will still try more affordable foundations because there are some really good ones out there that I have not tried yet. But one that I know will work for me and my skin type and my preferences is this, without a doubt. Um, okay, we've got two lip products. We have the Girl Code Lip Oil from Love Island. This was a collaboration they did ages ago. It smells incredible, but it's so old. It looks like it's got a lot of product in it, but I have used this a lot. This was one of my favourite lip oils. And actually, I think this is my second one. And this is one of the lip oils that got me into lip oils in the first place. Absolutely loved it. But, you know, so, sometimes when you open a lot of products in one go, which is something that I'm trying not to do, things go off, funnily enough. Now, we all know, if you've watched my channel... I have raved on about these lip oils and it's by e.l.f. and it is the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. This is in Pink Quartz. I have recently repurchased this. This is absolutely incredible. But the, another reason why I'm getting rid of it is because it's literally the applicator is so mank. And I've used it to death. But if you're looking for a good lip oil, it is thick in consistency. But it doesn't feel heavy on the lips. It doesn't feel greasy. They're just amazing. They're the perfect size to pop in your handbag. They do a variety of colours. I'm asking for some for Christmas. Um, yeah, I remember the days when you couldn't get e.l.f. in the UK and it was like survival of the fittest trying to get e.l.f. over here. But I'm so glad that e.l.f. has expanded their range in the UK because it's so damn good. Oh, there was another piece of skincare in here that I forgot about. But anyway, um, another empties, another made by Mitchell Bronze Blush in Toned Up. This stuff is my holy holy grail i'm gonna try other liquid contours don't get me wrong but this stuff is my absolute favorite i think this is like my third one i've gone through if he if mitchell decided to sell these in like the xl sizes i would prepare i would buy that because it's so worth it i know a lot of people that say it doesn't blend well for them i find this blends like an absolute dream for me personally i love the color it suits me so well and it's something that i will continue to purchase and repurchase and repurchase and repurchase and a little top tip, I know you probably watch my payday hauls and you probably know this yourself anyway, but I intend to, but I have got all of my Made by Mitchell products from TikTok shop. They either have discounts or on live videos that Mitchell does and his team 
you can get some amazing things for a lot cheaper than what they would originally be. But 100% I would recommend trying these because I swear by it. And then the last thing is my Amanda Holden Revolution Brow and Lash Serum. I have got my new one that I've been using. I absolutely love this stuff. I haven't found one that works this well for me personally. Um, and I do fully give this credit for giving me my lashes back because when I was in a really dark place, I used to pick out all my eyelashes due to anxiety and I literally looked like a human version of an egg. My eyes were puffy, my eyes were just so bad. Um, and when I started to look after myself, I opened this for the first time or one of my other ones and it has literally given me my lashes back as well as looking after myself and not picking up my lashes, obviously. But it's made my lashes so much thicker and so much just... I just I just love it and then obviously it's got the brow no that's the lash one again it's got because it where it's double ended it's got the brush like the tiniest spoolie ever um, and I use this for my brows I just love it it's so good I'd recommend this to anyone looking for an affordable lash and brow serum that for me personally works so that is everything um, and I'm really looking forward to getting rid of everything because now I've got an empty basket ready to start collecting more empties but I'm now going to end this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I can't believe I've already started filming my first festive vlog. How crazy. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what festive videos you want to see and any content you would like to see in my festive vlogs because I'm going to be brainstorming ideas this evening. But obviously any of your guys' input would be greatly appreciated. I hope you're all doing well. Um... And let me know what you've been up to in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog or video, whichever one you first. Do my job.